Assalamu alaikum students. We will study more about sounds in today's video. As you know sound is a form of energy. When matter vibrates or moves back and forth very quickly sound is produced. Sound can travel through solids, liquids and gases. The speed of sound is highest in solids while it's least in gases. Let us see now how sound is detected by human ear. Human ear is divided into three sections. The outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. So the outer ear which you can touch and feel it is it consists of pinna. The main function of the outer ear is to collect the sound. The middle ear vibrates the sound and it filters the sound and passes the sound to the inner ear. While the inner ear transforms this energy to electrical signals and they are proceeded to the brain. Let's actually see in detail how does the ear work. So here in this image you can see that there is sound produced or sound is created by the radio. Now the outer ear which is called as pinna that catches the sound waves. Even if you are far away from the sound the ear has that ability to catch the sound. That sound wave is then passed to the middle ear. The middle ear takes the sound waves and vibrates the ear drum. There is a part in the middle drum which is called as ear drum. That ear drum vibrates the sound waves. As you know sound travels in the forms of in the form of waves or vibrations. The inner ear then sends this message to the brain. The brain puts it together and yes we can hear then then we can hear the song on the radio. Let us see this actual process more in detail now. Why are ears called as an extraordinary organ? As you know, ear is a part of our sensory organ along with eyes, nose, tongue, skin, ear is an important sense organ. Its use is that it picks up all the sounds around us and it trans this, this sound is then passed on to the brain and then the brain can understand the sound. The sound when it reaches the, to, the, to the brain it becomes an electrical process. Sound waves cause the eardrums to vibrate because sound is sound waves pass through vibrations of particles. Human ear can hear sound waves with a frequency between 20 to 20,000 hertz. So this is some important information about our extraordinary organ and that is ear. Let us see few more parts of the inner ear in detail. So if you see the outer ear, the outer ear consists of the pinna as it is marked in the image and the ear canal. The ear canal is also called as an auditory canal. 
auditory means sound from where the sound can travel so pinna and ear canal or auditory canal comes under the outer part outer ear so that part of the ear now let's see which are the parts in the middle ear in the middle ear you have an hammer an anvil a ear drum so the hammer when vibration sound vibrates when sound is received on the ear drum it vibrates with the help of that hammer and the sound vibrates then there is a something structure like a snail that is called as cochlea and there are also small brown bones surrounding all these parts in the middle ear this is the most delicate part of the ear so the middle ear consists of the ear drum the hammer the anvil stirrup and cochlea and of course small bones around it around it while the inner ear consists of the auditory nerve from where the message that is the sound waves goes to the brain if there is vibrations in the air the ear drum our ear drum starts vibrating and these vibrations are passed through small bones the small bones inside the ear they are also they are called as ossicles and that by those vibrations through ossicles they pass on to the spiral structure called as cochlea from the cochlea the auditory nerve takes the sound waves to the brain and then our brain interprets these signals and it interprets the sound and then we can detect that sound now how does our ear perceive the sound now if you see in detail there are more minute by parts of the inner ear shown in this image of course all these parts are not there as per your syllabus but then there are more you know micro parts also present inside the ear so we, we feel that ear is such a simple easy small organ but then it has so many sub parts and so many functions of each part there now when sound waves they pass in the form of vibrations pressure is created on the waves on the sound waves and that due to that pressure the ear drum vibrates and this vibration is transferred to the brain then by auditory auditory nerve so this is how we perceive the sound now let's quickly take up few interesting questions and answers about ears about our our ears how do humans hear sounds yes of course human use their ears to hear the sound there is an interesting set of bones and parts and a fluid filled structure to determine the sound types yes when you clean the ear you find something sticky coming on the ear but that means there is a fluid also filled inside our ear how does the hearing work work sketch and label the system now as per your syllabus is concerned you don't have to draw the structure of the ear but then a structure of the ear can be given in your exam or in your test and then you have to label the parts whichever part is asked to you that you should be able to label in the given structure so now how does your human ear work okay sound waves they enter from the outer ear they are amplified and they vibrate in the middle ear they are connect, converted then into electrical pulses impulses 
in the inner ear and then passed through the auditory nerve to the brain. The brain detects that sound then. Do you know any sensors that detect sound and how they might do it? Now sensors means give one instrument which can detect sound. So there is an instrument which is called as microphone. The detailed um, structure of microphone you don't have as per your syllabus but then you should know that microphone is, an, is a device which can detect sound. So if you are speaking, if you are playing a radio or some sound is produced in the television okay, or someone is speaking in the mic and you want to see the sound waves, you need to see the frequency, the pitch of the sound, then you have to connect a microphone to that sound. So what does the microphone do? It detects the voices and instruments and then that microphone is connected to a machine which converts the sound waves into electricity. And then again back that electrical the waves which were connected converted to electricity they can be converted back in back into sound so these microphones are also used when the recordings of songs are done in movies and plays through this uh, device that is microphone you can also see the signals on a screen where you can see the intensity of the sound so the music directors or when the music recordings are done, such microphones are used to see the pitch, high pitch, low pitch or in which tone the singer has to sing. All that can be seen or can be viewed through this microphone. Okay, so microphone is a device that detects sound and it converts them to electricity and it can convert back the same sound again. So this is one of the instrument which is used in our daily life. Thank you.